You might have a chance to catch a cool sight in the sky tomorrow. A partial solar eclipse will be visible from Georgia this weekend. Our meteorologist Melissa Nord shares how you can experience it safely without solar lenses. So the eclipse is happening and you realize you don't have those ISO certified glasses. You're not out of luck on viewing the event. There's a couple of ways that you can see it safely without looking at the sun. Dr. James Sowell, director of the Georgia Tech Observatory, says you can do this with common objects that may be around your house. So a few other safe ways to view the eclipse so that you're not looking straight at it, but you're just using the aspects of the light. First is just take a mirror and don't shine it into somebody's eyes, but you can shine it on a wall and you would see part of the sun being blocked out. Another way is through the general idea of what's known as pinhole cameras. During these, you can make a small pinhole in aluminum foil or another object and watch the eclipse as light passes through the small hole. You can multiply that effect with a colander. A colander to have pretty small holes. Now you're going to get multiple solar disks. Each of these, your small circles of light will become blocked as the moon passes in between the Earth and the sun. At its maximum, we'll have about half of the sun blocked during the eclipse. So, Joe, the eclipse is going to start a little before 12 o'clock, and these are those glasses, the ISO certified glasses that you ideally would want to actually look directly at the sun during the event. But if you don't have them, again, do not look at the sun. You can use one of those three ways to see it still safely, just indirectly. All right, so, Melissa, we take a look outside. It's a little cloudy. We're wondering, will tomorrow be a little better to, to watch this eclipse? I think it is going to be a lot better by eclipse time, especially by the time we see the maximum eclipse here in Georgia. So at 1143, when just a little tiny end of the sun is eclipsed or covered up by the moon, we will see still a little bit of cloud cover getting its way out of here. But by the time we get to that 112 time frame when we have that maximum eclipse, I do think we see more sunshine. It's breezy outside, but you'll be able to see that eclipse. And then it all wraps up and ends just before 3 o'clock in the afternoon. So again, the it's an annular eclipse. We call it a ring of fire eclipse, but we are nowhere near that path of the maximum eclipse. So we will only see part of the moon, about half of it covered up when we get to that maximum eclipse here. But it is a good thing that we don't have it happening.